Welcome to ADC specifications. They can be used to identify an ADC to fit your application. They can also be used to identify how capable your application can be. Let's dive in with quantization, which is the process of converting continuous analog values to discrete digital values. If we were mapping two continuous values, every analog input would map to a unique digital output, one to one, making the transfer function the line y equals x. However, the purpose of the ADC is to convert the continuous analog values into discrete digital values, such as the digital value 101. Now, let's map an adjacent digital value. We have mapped two analog values to discrete digital values. What happens to the other analog values? they will need to be mapped to one of the digital values. We begin by examining how many analog values are mapped to each digital value by examining the distance between the mapped values. The distance between the two adjacent values on the digital side is one, which we call an LSB. On the analog side, the distance between the two analog values is the range of the ADC which in our case is zero to Vmax, or the maximum input voltage for the ADC, divided by the number of possible digital values, which is two to the n. We refer to this as the resolution of the ADC. It is the smallest value that can be detected. Therefore, it is important to select an ADC that has an appropriate range and resolution for your application as we will see in the example that follows. Now, let's examine how the digital values change. If the analog values that cause the ADC to transition to the next digital value are those that map to each LSB, we see that the actual analog values versus the digital representation could have an error of one LSB. We refer to this rounding error as quantization error. To minimize quantization error, the ADC rounds to the nearest digital value, which places the transition at the analog value that maps to the midpoint between each digital value, reducing the quantization error to half an LSB, or Vmax divided by 2 to the n plus 1. Now that we know how the ADC transitions from one bit to the next, we can find its transfer function. Starting from zero, we see that these midpoint transitions build a staircase function. The equation for this function is rounding to the nearest integer, the quantity x divided by LSB, or rounding to the nearest integer, the quantity x times two to the n divided by Vmax. Let's look at an example. Microchip has a weight scale reference design described in AppNote AN 3183. The design uses an ADC to measure the output of a weight sensor. We will begin by examining the performance of the sensor. In particular, what is the maximum output to determine the full scale range requirement for the ADC? And how does it change with respect to weight to determine the impact of the ADC resolution. The sensor has a sensitivity of one millivolt per volt of excitation voltage, and the design uses an excitation voltage of 3.3 volts. By multiplying the sensitivity by the excitation voltage, we see that the maximum output is 3.3 millivolts. Assuming the sensor is linear, we will only need its full scale weight, 2000 grams, to determine the response per gram. We can then take the maximum output, 3.3 millivolts, and divide it by the full scale weight, 2000 grams, to see that the sensor output is 1.65 microvolts per gram. Now let's examine the capability of the ADC used in this example, the MCP3564. First, we will determine the full scale range of the ADC that can meet the 3.3 millivolt maximum output of the sensor. This voltage is below the minimum reference voltage, which typically sets the input range of the ADC. 
To enable better performance, the MCP3564 has a built-in gain that can be used to adjust the full-scale range with respect to the reference voltage by as much as 64. The design uses a reference voltage equal to the excitation voltage of 3.3 volts. We can calculate the full-scale input range by dividing 3.3 volts by 64, which is 51 millivolts. The MCP3564 also has two resolutions, 16-bit and 24-bit. But due to some limitations, only 22 bits are valid. See some of our other videos for more details on those limitations. Now back to the resolution of the ADC. The 16-bit resolution is the full-scale range of 51 millivolts divided by 2 to the 16, which is 0.78 microvolts. Likewise, the 22-bit resolution is 12 nanovolts. If we had not used the gain, the resolution would be 64 times larger, or 50 microvolts and 787 nanovolts. Now we can calculate the resolution of the scale with these two settings by dividing the ADC resolution by the sensor's response per gram that we calculated above. We see that the 16-bit setting can resolve 0.48 grams, while the 22-bit setting can resolve 8 milligrams. If we had not used the gain, the resolution will only be 30 grams and 0.47 grams. As you can see, the full-scale range and resolution of the ADC have a significant impact on the performance of this weight scale. I hope that this example helps you understand how to use the input full-scale range and resolution of an ADC to select and assess the performance of a system.